Well, we've been warning you about Google snooping and drones watching you. Now even Mickey Mouse could be invading your privacy. The head of the Congressional Privacy Panel wants answers from Disney World about new wristbands that track park goers every move, including your children. The fear is that Disney will gather children's data and give it to advertisers to sell more stuff to you. Privacy advocate Katrina Pearson says Disney is crossing a line by trying to track kids, and he's joined by Jonathan Honick. She's joined by Jonathan Honick, who says, you know what? It's a government that's crossing the line. Make your case first, Katrina. What do you make of this move by Disney? Well, I think there's two issues here. One's really worse than the other, but the first issue is absolutely privacy. We see everything moving towards more and more Big Brother, and I do think it, it is a huge risk. I mean, we have databases being hacked every day, receiving people's private information, and it should be an opt-in situation. But secondly, we should also look at the potential health risks of these with our children, simply because there is new physics out there, there is new technology out there and ways to track human resonance, and we're just adding another microwave into the industry. We need to look at that before strapping it to our children. Jonathan? Well, I mean, Congress's role is is to protect people's rights, not the shake down Mickey Mouse, which is exactly what this is. I mean, Congress Markey is so worried about Goofy, he's so worried about Mr. Toad's wild ride. Meanwhile, actual threats like, oh, I don't know, Iran building a bomb, we've got U.S. Uh, citizens being killed all throughout the Middle East. I mean, that's a threat. This is not force. People wear these magic bands voluntarily, and to that extent, it's none of Congress's business. People want to go to Disney World. They want to, to pay to be involved with all these things. They get a lot out of it, and government has no role telling any private company how or how not to run its business. Katrina, what do you make of what Jonathan's saying, that this is sort of on the level of the, you know, baseball steroid hearings, that there's more important things going on in the world. What do you make of that? I mean, there are several more important things going on in the world, and the only reason why people do opt into this is because they don't know the technology behind it. This is not just a magnet and a bracelet that lets you into a ride. This is frequency, radio waves. The World Health Organization in 2011 says, hey, we need to take a look at this because over six billion people are utilizing microwaves put up, millions of them across the earth, and they are affecting human resonance. And now that we have children doing unimaginable things, we probably should look at that before saying, okay, let's do that. But at the same time, Jonathan, if Congress is supposed to be protecting our individual rights are not doing a very good job considering how we have lost the fifth sixth and seventh and they're going after the second and first as we speak right now wow okay well, well, just, I mean, we'll sit down on that for yeah. a second go ahead jonathan what i want to ask you can disney just fix the problem and say you know what when we're giving you this magic wristband we are collecting marketing information about you we are finding out information about what you're shopping for what you're spending money on it is kind of creepy don't you think they should tell the shoppers that up front well, individuals and families can opt out of this technology. They no, don't have to question, wear the wristband. No, that's not my question, Jonathan. They're no, wait, hang on. That's not what I'm asking. Sh Do you think Disney should have full disclosure and say, you know what, actually we are collecting data on you. Go ahead. Liz, Liz, they collect data on you when you check into the Contemporary Resort. I mean, they collect data on you because you're voluntarily d choosing to deal with them. And this idea that marketing, I mean, Christina thinks that somehow wearing a wristband, uh, an electronic wristband, could be a health risk. I think what uh, oppo those who oppose this believe that it's a security risk for kids. But marketing to children is not the same as using force on children. And if parents don't want their children marketed to, they should have them take off the wristband or should they have them go to Knott's Berry Farm or some other, some other place behind Disney. I They're hear what you're saying, Disney, Jonathan. However. Katrina, should Disney do full disclosure and tell the families that are coming through its gates that, yes, we are harvesting information about you and how your family shops, where you're going to spend your money at Disney World or Disneyland, is that the way to go? Absolutely. Disney should have full disclosure on the technology that they are putting on a child's arm and letting them know what the information is going to be used for. When you go to Disney World, you don't expect to be tracked and to end up receiving emails or, or mail, even in your mailbox, from marketing. I mean, at least let well, people well, know that's what you're doing and why you're yeah, doing well, it. You're, 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 you're tracked the whole time you're there because there's hundreds of cameras that track your every move in Disney World. So, of course, you're tracked, and you're tracked voluntarily because you I know, choose but we, to we go get there it. in of the course, first Jonathan, place. Of course, Jonathan, we get that. And listen, I hear what you're saying. We don't want, you know, Ronald McDonald is now turned into the lifestyle ambassador because of you know the food police <laughs> cracking down and saying McDonald's sells disgusting exactly. food well, of course no, I shouldn't say disgusting food but it sells fatty food that you know uh, that people may not want and certainly the government has stepped in and said wait a second McDonald's isn't doing so hot in that area 
I hear what you're saying about not letting the government step into Disney's world and change things around there because of what the government thinks works. I'm saying that as in the free market, Disney can fix a problem and say, you know what, hey, full disclosure, we are doing it. That's all I'm saying. Jonathan, go ahead. I, I don't think it's a problem, Liz. I mean, people know that they may interact with a company. They collect all types of information about them. And again, Nobody the knows fact about the Magic Band. It is, has data on it and that Disney is collecting that data off that Magic Band on where people are shopping in Disney World or Disneyland. Unless they watch Fox Business. Go ahead. Well, if they feel it's a tremendous threat for them, Liz, then they probably shouldn't go to Disney. They shouldn't wear the band. They will continue to do so because this isn't actually a threat to anyone. It's a violation of no one's rights. And for government to bother a second of Disney's time with this, I think is outrageous. Okay, gang, you've been terrific. Really pleasure to see you. Thank you so much for your time.